Welcome to Quest Trade. In this video, we will give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the Quest Trade Edge Web Level 1 Quote Screen Overview page. This page provides you with important information about a stock or ETF that can help you make buy, hold, or sell decisions depending on your goals. To get started, first log into your Quest Trade account. To access the Level 1 Quote Screen Overview through the web platform, you will need to enable Quest Trade Edge Web. If you have Quest Trade Edge Web enabled, you can access it at any time by clicking the green Trade button. If you don't currently have access to Quest Trade Edge Web, follow the link in this video's description to learn how to enable it. Enter a stock or ETF you are interested in. In this case, we will use Apple. Stocks displayed are for illustrative purposes only. Now that we have Apple up in Quote Overview, you will see that a number of key statistics are provided. These statistics work together to give you a detailed view of the stock's performance. The level one data points are best understood in relation to one another. To get started, let's look at bid and ask, as well as bid size and ask size. Together, these data points help you determine the buying and selling interest in the market right now. The bid price is the highest price investors are willing to pay for the symbol right now. The ask price is the lowest price investors are willing to sell this symbol for right now. Since stock markets function like an ongoing auction, the size of the bids and ask can also be informative. The bid size and ask size reflect the amount of shares investors are willing to buy or sell at the current bid and ask prices respectively. Over the day, as shares change hands, the volume field keeps a tally of the number of shares traded so far today. Comparing this to the average trade volume, which is typically calculated over the last 30 days, may help you identify any unusual interest or activity. While the bid and ask tell you about what the security price is doing right now, you may also be interested in where it has traded recently. This is where the next section of the quote overview page comes in handy. High is the highest price for this symbol so far today. Open is the symbol's first traded price when the market opened today. Low is the lowest price for the symbol so far today. And previous close is the symbol's last traded price on the last trading day. These fields work together to give you even more context on notable recent price levels so you can compare them to the current bid and ask to inform your investing decisions. If you want a longer term perspective, the 52 week high is the symbol's highest price in the last year, and the 52 week low is the lowest price in the last year. Beyond price and volume information, the level one screen also shows a variety of fundamental data points that work together to help you understand the current valuation of a symbol. Market cap, also known as market capitalization, is the total value of all shares for this symbol. It is calculated by multiplying the number of shares shown in the shares field, which represents the total amount of shares issued by the company, by the last price. A few more valuation data points of interest include PE, the price earnings ratio, this ratio compares the symbol's current share price to its earnings per share. PE shows how the symbol's valuation compares to other symbols in the same industry. EPS, or earnings per share, is a way of looking at the amount of money the company has made in relation to how many shares it has issued. To calculate this, we divide the company's net profit by the number of shares it has on the market. Earnings date is when the company is scheduled to release its next financial report. The Level 1 field can also tell you important information about dividends. The dividend field shows you the total dollar amount of the dividend paid. The dividend is in the currency of the symbol. The yield is the annual dividend value divided by the current price. The ex-dividend date tells you the date by which you need to hold fully settled shares of the company to be eligible for the next dividend payout. Finally. The Level 1 screen also shows data points related to the borrowing costs and requirements of the security you're looking at. This is most relevant if you have a margin account and intend to borrow to invest. 
borrow rate is the price you need to pay each day if you want to short sell a stock in this symbol. Short selling is when you sell a stock you don't own. Long MR or long margin requirement is the percentage of the value of the trade you need to have as buying power in order to enter a long position. Buying on margin means borrowing money from Questrade to buy a security. Short MR or short margin requirement is the percentage of value of the trade you need to have as buying power in your account in order to enter a short position. Short selling on margin means borrowing money from Questrade to sell a security you don't own. Please note that additional information on a stock's performance can be found below the level one quote screen. By scrolling down, you can access our research tools and informative widgets such as SmartScore, Analyst Ratings, and News Analysis. For more in-depth information on these tools, please follow the links in the description below. We hope you found this video helpful. For more informative videos on how to navigate your Questrade accounts, please check out the other videos on our YouTube channel.